Are you tired of random people coming into your base like they own it? What about employees finding you as soon as you step outside of your base at night? Or when griefers take apart your base and steal everything you've got? And if at least one of these things have happened to you in Roblox SCP-3008, then I highly recommend you guys to build a sneaky base. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be taking a look at what a sneaky base is, why people even need them, and how to make one. And of course, for those who need an intro, how Howdy Raid here, welcome back to an only video, and I understand that a lot of you guys watching this video probably think that a sneaky base is useless and it's going to look really ugly. But trust me, if you have a clear goal and you want to live in a nice base, you can genuinely make something that looks really really good while surviving much longer than everybody else. Now as mentioned in the start of the video, there are so many different problems in Roblox SCP-3008 that lots of different players struggle with. 3008 on Roblox can genuinely feel like rust sometimes. I don't know how many of you guys played it, but that game is crazy. Everybody is against each other, and that's pretty much what happens in the infinite Ikea as well. Everybody is trying to survive, make a nice base, and steal all the food and game cubes. And remember, only the smartest survive, so if you make the right decisions, you're gonna have a tub full of food and a bunch of game cubes at your disposal. For those of you who play a lot of different games, you'll understand that if you want to be the best at a game, you gotta understand a specific formula. And I know this sounds really weird, but there's actually a formula I've kind of made to make the sneakiest base in 3008. It's not like a complex algorithm, it's really just a three-step formula. And to truly teach you guys everything about this experience, I had to load up into a public game and try this out for myself. So I spawned into a public server, that's where the action happens, that's where the griefers are, and that's where you want to try the formula. Now step one is fairly simple, it's really really easy to do this, but you have to do your best to find a simple part of the map that's very very hidden away from players. Sometimes it's really hard to do, maybe you'll have a base every single direction of the area that you're in, maybe you're playing a 700 player game, which I really don't recommend you to play, it kind of gets boring with so many players. So I on this pillar in the back of the map. The cool thing is that if you find a pillar that spawned in this area of the map right next to the wall, you can build right in between that wall and the pillar. It will work like a charm. This pillar is not bad at all. If you guys want to build something on this pillar in terms of your sneaky base, don't start at the bottom. If you're making something on a pillar, saying it for the second time, please don't start on the bottom. Just go up, up, up. Maybe you're making a ladder. Maybe you make like a ladder or a staircase that you can remove. Who knows? And it sounds like a pillar base guide, but the thing about this is that pillar bases can be seen from far away. If you're building your base right on this side of a pillar facing the wall, nobody's going to see you if they're like that way over there. They're just going to be like, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to run by it. Oh, nothing here. Now, of course, location is important. If you can't find a pillar, try to look for a sign. Signs are still awesome. You're gonna find a sign like that one right there. Dude, look at that. Literally facing the wall, somebody's gonna run by it and think, oh, that's a sky base up there? I didn't even notice that. And then they're just gonna run away because it takes a while to build up there. Now, the perfect place I found for my base was right up here. It's the middle of the night in game, but that's not stopping me from building. I don't really see any employees, so I have to act quick and get up there. Now, I can make a base connecting these two, but I'm not gonna make this base very obvious. I'm gonna try to build around this pillar and make it so that once again, as I mentioned before, Anybody running this way, that way, or even from there, won't be able to see it as well. Try not to make your bases stand out like crazy. Remember that you're trying to hide and you're trying to be sneaky. You don't want little Timmy seeing your base from miles away. And if you're like me, stuck in the middle of the night despite there only being a little time left and you don't want to die, remember to make a waypoint, you know, just write base, something really simple, set yourself a nice color, I like yellow, and then boom, create a waypoint, and then you can come back here if you die. Now this is a really, really big staircase, it's kind of taking away the sneaky aspect, so try to build as fast as possible if you're in a public server. Now, for step two in the formula, we're gonna have to be building, and we're gonna have to do this, as I said before, super sneakily. Remember guys, you're making a sneaky base. You're not out here to be an artist. The thing is, nobody is gonna see this. We are trying to be super silent ninjas, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm of course trying to use kitchen tables to make the design like super compact, but you guys can use any material. Personally, if you're gonna have a lamp in your base, 
just try to make a material that isn't like a glass table unless it's for a window. Because if you have a floor made out of glass tables, people might see your lamp from above. That's the thing that you don't want people to see. It's always the super sneaky things that give you away. I know that lamp is going to get in the way, but you can't really take it away. So step two is going to be a bit tedious with materials, but it is also the most fun step because you get to kind of decorate and customize and make the best base you can. Now the base does look a little ugly and crooked, but I have to make it look as sneaky as possible. You got to do what you got to do. Said it once, I'll say it again. Got this pool table right here. This is amazing for roofs. If you guys are trying to make a lit looking roof that's going to be really big, definitely use a pool table. Your base doesn't have to look perfect. Even if there's like one little crack, don't worry. Just try to cover it up, but you can always turn off your lamps in the night. Now, let me tell you guys that since this is a sneaky base, you really don't need a door and it's also just super tiny as I said before. What you're going to have to do now is get rid of all of this furniture. You don't want this to stay around your base because people are going to wonder where all this furniture came from. They're going to understand that somebody was building here. So try to not be too lazy and go a little further maybe like go down one, two, maybe three plots and place them all together to make it look like a base. The messier it looks all bundled up together, people will believe that it's a base. Now, once you think your base is ready, do remember that we still haven't gotten to step three, and that is getting up to your base as sneakily and as fast as possible. Do remember to take two different pieces of furniture. Don't forget, you can bring your favorite toy with you. I'm trying to get up there, but I'm also trying to get Hubert up there. So we just got to do this, the old bookcase trick, try to get up into the sky. And this is definitely the most boring part about building. You got to be really, really careful. I'm actually pretty stressed out doing this because I'm really scared that something's going to drop. I really don't want to fall. This is definitely the hardest step. Now, once you're in your base, you can put your toy wherever you want. I'm going to leave Hubert here, you know, drop your food, however much of it you've got. It doesn't matter. Nobody's going to steal it from you. But of course, guys, don't forget to take your staircases. You don't want to leave them floating in the sky for people to see. Now, whatever you make your bridge with, you can really just close it off with a door. It'll still look good. And now you've got your own little tiny base. It's really compact and small, but it's also saving you from everybody in 3008. Now, you probably won't be able to invite any friends because the base is pretty small, but you do have Hubert. Now, the final product is finished, and all you can really see is a piece of wood sticking out. It's not that bad. The cool thing is, is that if somebody's running by, they're probably not going to notice unless they're just looking like this. Now, guys, don't be like me. Remember to turn off your lamps because if somebody running by they really won't see it there's so many different types of bases in that playlist that just popped up on your screen so click on those for more and of course don't forget to comment how you made your sneaky base